Ah, extinction. Probably one of the major contributors to me really not giving a monkeys about ARC anymore. It was one of the most broken buggy maps going and I absolutely hate it. It was kind of voted always for me for years until Gen 2 came out as the worst map wildcard ever did. Now, that's a big strong opinion and I'm going to have lots of opinions today as I go over the 10 finalists that you can vote for to add for Ark Ascended. The brand new creature that will be a part of Extinction, hopefully maybe with the remaster we'll get the Extinction that we deserved and not the kind of buggy mess that it was, maybe just ripping off biomes that we'd already played and seen before. Let's go, big dose of opinion, I'm JPG. So you've only got about five days left to go ahead and put your vote in. I'll leave it in the comment section as before. It's going to be finishing on 18th September. And of course, we'll get the announcement about which one has won on the 22nd. So yeah, I definitely went through a lot of these in, in depth when I did my preview video. But today, I just want to focus on what they really show me or tell me when I first look at them. And obviously, I know they may change, but the general idea what this creature could be. But to me, for sure, something that can get across the different biomes or in between has maybe some strengths or some abilities that can utilise in the desert, in the cold, and obviously the sunken forest. Or possibly even, obviously, in the Forbidden City, or the Ruined City, Lost City, Forgotten City. It's been a while since I touched Extinction. Honestly, it was my worst rated map of just, oh, I hated it. I think because it just borrowed so much from some of the other maps. Apart from the actual city itself, it kind of ended up being a bit boring because the structures were too large. Just wasn't that much originality other than the wastelands, which were kind of cool. But the horde event style with the drops, it kind of was broken and buggy for ages. And in the end, the corrupted creatures just became pretty boring. So we've got a fluffy spider with a gun on its back. Mountable saddle, any turret, saddle armor, Bosch. I quite like the idea that it could be a bit more kind of element infused. So any creature that does have that kind of colouring or vibe, I'm definitely going to be down for. Admittedly, this spider does seem to only have like six legs. It seems so cute. Like it's basically a fluffy white tarantula with a massive fuck off gun on its back. Thinking about it, could it work? Well, yeah, in the sea, if it can climb up walls, the desert environment down the canyons and stuff like that and scurrying along. And of course, the sunken forest as well. Probably the only place it might not be as good would be the snow biome. But if it's coloured white, it could blend in a little bit there. I think any creature that gets added to extinction should directly be some way that you can combat the Managama. But I don't know, it still feels a bit iffy having these big guns and big saddles on such a small creature, even if it is resized up. Basically a giant tarantula. Edmontia Ignitus. Now I did glance quickly the notes for this one. Basically it can fire off incendiary at other creatures or players. And can even use its armour to set up a small barrier or defence. Ultimately, it looks like it could belong in the Scorched Earth biome, of course, of Extinction. But it is just another Anki. Looks and design-wise, anyway. Its abilities, I'm sure, are ten times better. But I just don't feel like it's got that kind of general multi-use for all the different biomes. We need something fast or flexible. Now the Hats has made a return. This guy got, I think, nominated for the last one. But this one seems to be different design. And actually, I'm kind of feeling this. This feels like this could be a great setting to maybe take on Managamars, although it's got the pictures of the Wyverns that it would obviously take down the corrupted versions. So maybe this would actually be pretty suitable. Being able to fly from biome to biome as the biggest, massivest, largest airborne creature going and being adept at hunting and killing lots of the corrupted creatures. So yeah, I'm feeling this one. Next up, we've got the Aeroston. Again, brownie points for using some sort of elemental colours. Looks like it's pretty toxic and it eats corrupted hearts. That's pretty badass. Does feel like it's a very sort of early version of like a crocodile iguana style. Obviously it's got feathers as well though. So I kind of like it, but I don't know. I don't see this creature being that well utilized in some of the other biomes. Would it be fast enough to get around the wastelands? Next up, the Gorgonops. This is like half baboon, half lizard, half lion. Apparently it could be some sort of bloodhound creature. First glance, first look, I would say, yeah, it's pretty unusual. This weird sort of slip back mane. We have got a lot of cat-like creatures, whether it's the shadow mane, obviously the fighters, and of course the regular kitties. Lots of dinosaurs have won the previous ones now, proper dinos that we all recognize as just variants, like gigas and stuff like that. So could this be a welcome addition? Maybe, if it can be utilized in good ways to get around different biomes or have strengths and weaknesses against obviously the corrupted creatures, 
but it doesn't really show to me that it's extinction kind of level. It's like built for this map particularly. It just looks like it's been made as a quite a cool creature. So maybe this could be served better on a different map. That was just one whole map. Then we've got the Sorrow Poseidon, which apparently likes bumping around with the music. Um, yeah, it's a big old creature. I kind of like the idea. It might have some sort of ability tied to uh, beating stuff like a war drum. Is it really versatile enough, though, to cope with the different biomes and different elements of, of extinction? I'm not too sure. Now, for extinction look points, the Dreadnoughtus here is fantastic. I love this one. It looks kind of like a slippery eel, but it's massive. Nearly as big as a Titanosaur. Got this beautiful colouring going on on it. It's got so many vibes. It reminds me a little bit of Piranha in its face. I always assume though that large creatures like this just don't fit very well for big maps that you're going to have to traverse and that you want to be able to multi-use in so many different ways. Now to be fair, extinction is pretty uncommon like that. Yes, other maps do have smaller biomes. That's the whole point of extinction is going between these three different points and then going back to the city. Could the Dreadnoughtus really be useful for all of them versions of the map? Certainly with its colours, it does seem best suited to a map that is focused on element. Since we've already had Aberration, I can't really see this being anywhere else to be used other than Extinction. But yeah, I like the look of this one. Speaking of more kitties, we've got another version of the Phyla. Again, I swear I've seen this in some other of the polls. And I like the idea that it's got like, kind of like a sort of element -like look to it. But is this just going to be pretty much another Shadow Main? Certainly the versatility of it being able to get across... I think this one does fit in a lot more with the different biomes and places that you'll encounter. But what's special about what's going to really elevate it to be something that you might find either in a city or in one of these biomes? Could it be somewhere like the underground area? Sunken forest could be its home maybe? Or just finding it out in the wilds fighting against all the corrupted? Then we've got the Dull Winner Septurus, which is like this weird Stretch Armstrong style creature. Corruption's Chaotic Vessel. So it's got corruption influenced in it, not just element. It does remind me a little bit of like a Tropico and a Wyvern. And maybe the Sinnoh. But I'm not in love with its kind of face or its body shape or look. But certainly to get around, as I said, this maybe could be the one. A flyer might be the best option. Considering the different types of biomes and the way that you get across the wastelands. It could be interesting also to utilise this amongst the city on the ruins. But my favourite absolutely is the Ozimek. I just love the idea that this creature is just a bit bonkers looking. Apparently something that can hunt down flying creatures. What if they tailor make this so that you'd be able to latch onto a Managamar? No matter how quick or how fast one moves, you could maybe lock onto it and it would spring onto it no matter where. Be able to do quite a substantial amount of damage. Almost like, obviously, raptors clawing into a managma, even as it's flying around with you on its back. So yeah, I think this is the best one. And this is what I want to win. It's just one man's opinion. I may be doing a lot of disservice to a lot of these entries. And I did piss off a few of the people that entered last time. But as I said, I'm not going to sit here and not give you some sort of opinion. You don't have to agree. You don't have to disagree. Just respect. At least I have one. But yeah, I hope this one absolutely wins. And that's it. Go and vote right now. I'm back pretty much off my paternity leave more or less nowadays. So hopefully you'll see a bit more content from me as we gear up for release. So until next time, Ratbags, laters.